Hey, we're back. Let's see if I can get my chat up here. Ew. What happened to my chat? Hmm. Hold on. If anybody's saying anything, I can't see it right now, so give me one second. I might have to, I'm not super familiar with OBS, so I might have to look into that a little bit, but give me a moment. Come on. There you go. Reset UI. Yeah, that'll help. That did not help. Okay. Well, that didn't help at all. Seamless uh, full screen. Yeah, I got, I got that. There's chat. There it is. What's good? What's up, said CBT is coming back. There's the control panel. Okay. <laughs> all is all is right with the world. So. All right, uh, I guess we can just we can just jump back into this. I'll load it up. I had to make sure that all the all the music and stuff was turned off so that YouTube didn't get didn't get angry at me while I was playing because it uh, tends to do that. It did that even in just my. I've been fighting a long time. Yeah, it. Uh, but yeah, I, YouTube tends to get. It, it even got angry with me when I was doing, like, unlisted test streams and was like, hey, you're eligible for monetization sharing with uh, a band from 2008 that you've never heard of. I'm eligible for monetization sharing with with the band Mooney Suzuki. <laughs> I, well, let me tell you what, I don't know them very well. What's up? What's up, Mike Mike, Wings and Abs fan? What's up, y'all? The job market has resorted to war crimes on me. Oh, tough luck, brother. Big Sue back in action. Yeah, dude. CBT is, is coming back. So I was looking at... Before I uh, turned everything on here, I was just... I was testing some stuff out, making sure everything... Everything was working right and all that. But I... First... Uh, we have to look at our practice schedule, which I am assigning the boys to bag skate. I I am. <laughs> I'm unsatisfied with their performance to this point in the season. I they're I I'm putting them on bag skates. They're I I can't take it. I can I can take it no longer. Uh, but in better news, if you look at our progress reports, we've got. Chris Beckford Sue has gone from a 50 overall to a 54 overall. He is developing. I think I should use <laughs> witchcraft to get a job. I mean, it, if that's if that's the easiest way, my friend, I trust me. I am a, <laughs> I'm a recent college graduate, and uh, I don't have a a big a big boy job as they as they say, but I. We'll see. We'll see what comes along. But I do this, so and that's fun. I love. Gives me time to make my YouTube videos in between uh, serving people brunch food. So, I mean, it, it's cool. Might have to do NSFW stuff to make money. I listen. Everybody, everybody lives their own life. If if the, if that's what it's come to for you, my friend, then then that's what it's come to. You know, I have a big boy job, but I have Chris. That's right. I do have Chris Beckford Sue. I, and you can get an amen. Amen. Chris Beckford Sue. So I wondered if the score, the like scoring engine for this game is thrown off by the fact that periods are set to five minutes. So I might see, cause I can't change it in, I can't change it in game. So I might have to 
step back. I apply for jo I dude, I I know it <laughs> before I got the job I have right now. And I'm sorry if I'm clipping or anything. Please let me know if the audio is bad. I can turn it down on my DI, but um before I got the job that I have now, uh which I serve at a at a restaurant, the return, that's right. But before I got the job that, that I have now, I got turned down by uh, Best Buy, which uh, was a, a a humbling moment, to say the least, to have Best Buy be like, actually, we're going to go in a different direction. It's like, oh, okay, I guess I can't sell uh, air fryers at moderately reasonable prices. Rules and options is what I'm looking for here. And I'm going to change the period length to 20 minutes and see if that changes if that changes the scoring engine at all or if our team is just uh doo-doo butt cheeks which is very very possible all right so let's let's get into oh and for anybody who if anybody missed out if anybody's new here we are running a fantasy drafted uh franchise in nhl 2008 mostly centered around uh, obscure ECHL and AHL goalie Chris beckford Sue. Chris beckford Sue weirdly hated by fans of the Rochester Americans I learned when I was trying to find him on Twitter to see if I could if I could get in contact with him. But if I could get in contact with Chris beckford Sue, I would have no joke done a I don't know, a short a short video with him because I feel like he'd have been cuz he he's like I could just give up. Don't give up, Mike. Mike, can continue, continue your quest. As tough as it is, why do the Americans hate him? Because uh, he could you make Chris? No, because it'll only let me go through the skaters. I've I've tried in this game before. It'll only if I go to captains and jersey numbers. It'll only let me go through the skaters. Like it just has like a set list. But yeah, yeah, it's zero out of ten. That's right. I can't even. And I think this may have even. No, I think this is before. Lu Luongo would have been. No, it might even be because I think Luongo has like a little C on the bottom of his, of his mask. What other options do I have? It, I don't know. <laughs> uh, eventually, if you keep if you keep trucking, you will stumble your way into something. That's kind of the way that I've gone through life. Like, is eventually stumbling into something that that happens. But, I mean, it's it's a it's a crapshoot as far as success, I suppose. But, back to why the Americans hate him. Uh, he was really, really awful with them. Like, really bad. Uh, I think he was like an 870 or 880 guy with them. And I saw a I saw a tweet from an Amherst fan on, and that was like, uh, this is, I hate ex goalie. I don't know if it was UPL or probably not UPL or Levi or anybody, but it was, I, I hate ex goalie uh, since more, more than anyone since Chris Beckford. too. and I was like, Oh, well, he left, he left a big, a big mark. But yeah, I think he, he was, if not the first, one of the first Asian Americans to play goal in the NHL, which is cool. I, good for him, man. I, his stuff is in like the Hockey Diversity Hall of Fame and stuff like that. But yeah, so we are, we're hinging on, on him. And his development has gone well so far. I also don't know how old he is in this game. That's probably something that I should know. I'll look at him real quick here. Hey, he's really cool. He seems really cool. He is a he's a goalie coach, I think somebody said last game. Okay, he's only twenty three. But yeah, so we're we're all in on CBT. Uh, don't don't sell your soul to the devil for jobs. Uh, that would make you if if this that would make you a a warlock with the pact of the fiend and nobody nobody wants that but late bloomer like tim thomas tim tim thomas was uh 
85 or something when he when he won a vet, when he won two Vesnas. Mississauga Steelheads, that's right. Yep. Okay, cool. So let's get to simming. And hey, we're already we're molten hot compared to last time. We beat we beat the Capitals. Really need to work at a Lockheed Martin. Yeah, the <laughs> my morality going out the window as soon as I get my my engineering degree. Oh, oh, we blew it again. I'm a suist. <laughs> See, that's why we should add sue in goal. See, I don't know anything about uh, the job market in or around Canada. Because I'm uh, very, very American. So, Apo apologies for uh, any... I know more about Canada than most Americans, but... Oh, yeah, I forgot the guy for the flames. His name's, like, uh... Let's, let's look up his name. Where is he? He can't... It's the, the guy from Arizona can draft, and so can the guy from the flames. The guy from Arizona... Is, oh, it's not Arizona yet, it's Phoenix. But we'll go to Calgary first. Y yes, Calgary has mere block... And yes, Arizona, I do think his name, Phoenix, I think his name is Adrian Chang or something to that effect. Adrian Chong, uh, unbelievably close. <laughs> unbelievably close. All right, so let's, let's beat the number one seed Penguins. And we're red hot out of the gate. We beat the number one seed Penguins. This team is turned around. Everything has changed. We are, we are cooking. That sounds like a reasonable idea there, Shadow Cell. I don't, once again, I have, I have kind of draw, job issues myself. Not a single drop of algebra in the game, but this fictional Yotes GM, yes. Yeah, that's right. All right. So that was CBT in net for that game, by the way. So... I say we ride him for a little while longer. Yeah, he's up to 86% save percentage. That's, that is not bad at all. Let's get the win here against the Leafs. Or not. What's up, Mark Leandre? Seven games, three wins. <laughs> yeah, listen, it, we're grading on a curve here. It The team isn't actually isn't actually good but come on boys yeah oh uh, listen an overtime loss is a massive win for us let's let's check the player stats because it's not as easy as it is in to in regular nhl regular nhl what am i talking about in modern nhl to like see my players stats as we're going so where are we? We are Atlanta. Atlanta. Okay. So, Iggy's leading us with sick boy. Oh, boy. This is not... Yeah, we were riding the loser point the whole way to the cup. Iggy's leading us with 16 points in 25 games. I should acquire Boyd Gordon. I should see if Boyd is, is available. Boy, this sucks. Alex Kotalik's been good since we traded him, or since we got him for Cam Ward. He's been pretty good. Half a point a game. Who is who is scoring? Kovalchuk. That seems cool. How about Boyd Gordon too? Uh, what is that? Uh, what's it? Matt Hendricks. Yeah, I had to. Th I had to think about who I who I have called Boyd Gordon to, and it's Matt Hendricks, who I I will say Matt Hendricks is a <laughs> Jason Woolley. Yeah, we're ri we're riding Jason Woolley, baby. Jason Woolley with a blown out, like overly compressed picture. 
But yeah, Matt Hendricks, I will say, is markedly worse than Boyd Gordon. He is, like, not the same level of player even remotely. Boyd Gordon, a respectable guy for what he was. Um, like, if, if you look at, like, his defensive impacts as far as, like, expected goals and stuff, actually pretty good. But he just couldn't he had no offense and this team needs jonathan chichu i wonder how good chichu is in this game because this is before everybody realized that chichu wasn't like you know he he wasn't real he he couldn't skate he was one of the he just truly a very horrible skater let's let's sort by name there's kevin adams gm He's still the GM in Buffalo, right? I'm not just making that up. Yeah, he is. I, I've I've confirmed it in my own head that he is. All right, where's Chichu? We're coming for it. There he is. Jonathan Chichu, 10 goals, but only 13 points. He's 27. Yeah, they gave him an 87 speed, which for this game is pretty low because they gave Tony Lubman like... 400 okay yeah so he's only two two years separated he just came off a 37 goal season so he scored 28 the year before he had 56 I, and i think he scores 20 or 20 ish in the real in the real world 2008 i think he scores 20 ish but not a hundred percent on that and who else were we going to look for? We're going to look for Boyd. We're coming for you, Boyd. I have to sort through. Gee. Oh. God. Gotch. Goddard. Gonchar. Gomez. Bufflin. I believe we have Bufflin on the team. So I, I think he's just not dressing yet, but the defense hasn't been any good. So Boyd Gordon is uh, slow as mud but he's pretty good at checking. They did not make him good enough at faceoffs. Boyd Gordon... Yeah, Boyd is... A, there aren't enough... Who's uh, Travis Boyd? He, 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 he His last name's Boyd. He, he's spiritually kind of a Boyd Gordon type. A little bit more offense, but... Roddy Verbata. Roddy Verbata would be pretty good at this point. Boyd Gordon... Four goals... <laughs> five points. Where's Radim? I'm gonna sort by the other way. Stars legend Radim Verbata. Stars legend or Boyd? Oh, Boyd. Boyd's. I'm trying to think. Did Radim Verbata play for the Stars? Is that... Because I feel like he played for the Canucks and Coyotes most notably. I forgot the way that Peter Vrana do we know is he Jakob Vrana's brother he's only 22 timeline kind of adds up there I don't know Radim Verbata only 26 at this point I feel like he was breaking the ritual tonight I don't blame you Radim Verbata what hey is severely hating on redeem okay i guess he didn't he hadn't done anything at this point yet but i think we're hating on redeem verbata a little bit but he is I, I he's one of those guys who i feel like was born 35 you know ben eager ben eager is gonna be like an 85 overall because they'll give him 99 in checking and 99 in punching faces Where are you, Ben Eager? There he is. Oh, he's pretty... He's 23 at this point. Another guy who is, like, much younger than you would think. He's an 80. Yeah, he's... They... And again, they have him. Yes, toughness 98, checking 94, aggressiveness 90. And they have him at his an 84 potential. Yarmir Yager. Yarmir Yager's a beast in this game. Because this is... 
He's only one season removed from the 123 point year he had with the with the Rangers in the weird they call a billion penalties. Play oh is that what what name do you know off the top of your head? Cause this is all this is all skaters right now. Cause I I don't remember that guys. I know Utaka. There's Yager, by the way. We'll stop on him. Yager. 35 years old, 90 overall, still 93 speed. Yeah, because he just had 96 points the year before and 123 the year before that. But right after he decided that he wouldn't try with the Capitals. Pengu here he is with the Penguins. Yeah, not trying. Oh, here he is with the Rangers. <laughs> He's trying again. Fuku Fuji. Okay. We'll, we'll see if he's under. Goalies. I don't... I keep looking over at the chat and... Yeah, there he is! You, you were right. Utaka is his first name. Utaka Fuku Fuji. And he is starting for a team. Who's he starting for? He's a 79. He's a... Wow. Good for this game with the... A lot of respect for Utaka Fuku Fuji. Who is six one one sixty? Jeez, it's a a thin a thin fellow, thin guy. Who do we, who does he start for again? Blues. All right. So next time we see the Blues, we'll have to pay attention. All right. We lose to the Rangers. Okay. All right, can we beat the Capitals again? No, I don't want to play the game. Sim the game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't blow it in the final minute. Yeah, didn't Grabowski... He was a Leaf for a little while. Like, it was him and him and Kuhleman were on those, like, the Leaf teams that sucked and then... Will you ever see you play? I might, I I might suit up for a game. I do have to change the game length from. I I'll see if I can turn turn the tides. But, yeah, I I do have to change the game length for that because I'm not playing the full, the full twenty minutes. I will play the five minute periods, for sure. This thirty year old Jocelyn Tebow up to so um, IRL in this game he should be on the penguins i think because it's play the blues game with the two titans in net that's absolutely true let's look at where it is on our on our little calendar it's coming up it's coming up we only got one two three four five six games then the blues game okay so i will i will player control for the blues game i just gotta exit dynasty and turn the the length down real quick also ea sports extra you can look up a code to get the reebok edge jerseys and i did look up the code it's like 50 characters long and like you would think it would be like nhl edge or something like like something you could feasibly guess or whatever no it's like j k l m capital six you know but, all right, so rules, five minutes. Let's do that. Okay. So we'll knock it down to five minutes, and we'll go into our friends in the dynasty mode. The scoring did not increase. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely correct. The code at the bottom, it, literally, yes. It It's like, okay, this is uh, the the zillennial in me uh yeah can't wait for where capital six that's right this is capital six yeah i this is the 
zillennial in me, but do you guys remember when, like, Upper Deck, I think it was, so Upper Deck and all the other cards that they owned, you could go on to UpperDeck.com and type in the little, like, four-digit code on the bottom of the cards, and it gave you points, and then you could get, you would get the card digitally and all that. Like, I feel like that was ahead of its time. Now the NHL is doing all this NFT stuff. They need to go back to the four-digit code on the back of the card. Uh, need to get Maxim Lapierre on the team. The Maxim Lapierre, maybe that is what we need. We need more grit. I mean, we have Keith Kachuk and Owen Nolan in the in the lineup every night, so i i can't I can't see how we need that much more grit. And we blew that game in the final five minutes, thanks to uh, Eric Christensen. Eric Christensen. Chris Beckford Sue NFT. That's right. <laughs> That's they should they should make that one. I love how it's the most NHL thing possible to do is to be like, yeah, uh, <laughs> they got into NFTs in like twenty twenty three, like after the after nobody was doing them anymore, and everybody's like, oh yeah, these are a scam. The NHL's like, yeah. I think it's time. I think it's time we got, we put we dipped our toe into this. Fill a team with players that we suggest. Even if it, I I should I should just follow the I, I traded Cam Ward for it, it due to a chat request. So Alright, let's we gotta get to this blues game. So I after the blues game I will We'll make another move, because I think we need to we need to make some moves. We are still we are doing the sad thing is, we're doing a little bit better than we were. I'm upset. I'm upset as the uh, the Atlanta Thrashers registered trademark gets shut out. You can buy the Atlanta Post for one dollar. See, inflation has gone too far. Now that you can't buy the Atlanta Post for one dollar, I, I, folks, I am GM Oakley is very upset. Oh, what I was gonna say after Eric Christensen broke our hearts is that D Dotsuk and eight. Wow, you <laughs> for one dollar. Yeah, I Dotsuk and Iggy for Yager and somebody else. Dots. I think they're both weirdly better. They're both better than Yager. Dotsuk has the flu, I guess. He's down to a 79 with the flu. But Iggy's a 95. I... Iggy, buddy, can you score over a half point per game, please? What's Corey Perry up to? Eight points. Okay. What's Zach Parise up to? A goal. A goal. He has one goal in 32 games. After... Yeah, Datsuk has the flu. <laughs> he, he he has the flu. What? He had 87 points last year. And they're like, yeah, what if he had 11? What if it was an 11-point season for, for Pavel? What's CBT doing? He's been... He's at an... He's a great goalie. But, yeah. C CBT has been a great goalie for 1984. He's been tremendous. What's Abisher? Has Abisher been any better? A little bit. Get Dotsuk some Mucinex. Absolutely. That's what he needs. He's dying. He's fighting for his life. Oh, I forget that when I move the, the right stick on my controller, it makes their pictures disappear. I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. Let's take Parise out. Let's scratch Zach Parise. I think that'll send a message to the team. Huey would be great on our team. I, I love Cristobal Huey. I think nobody talks about the French man quite enough. Who needs Huey when you got... That is true. We don't want to cut into CBT's minutes. 
Okay, Parise wasn't in any of their lines. So Hoytek Volsky is going to take his place. He played in eight games with an assist. Why is Alish Kodaly in 89? I think we might need to change to... Yeah, let's take Thomas Holmstrom off the top line. 860 is probably league average when they... Yeah, is for... Well, the thing is, I... Our team has the least goals for and, like... Yeah, NHL 2K8 legend, yeah. But our team has, like, the least goals for and the most goals against by a mile. It It, it is kind of agitating to me. But let's bring up... Coda League's going to play as an off wing on the top line, and Holmstrom's going to go down to the second line. Let's see if that changes, changes anything here. Okay. Here we go. Bang. Oh... Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Come on now. Coda <laughs> League scored. And Eric Lindros got a game misconduct. Okay. Carol Rakunik. Is that who that is? He assisted a Gary Roberts goal. Jeez. All right. Let's see if we don't lose massively to the Senators this time. Owner's expectation. You need to step it up and get a win. I... Why is there getting game misconducts? I don't know. It... It doesn't tell me. It'll also, like... Uh, suspend your players for too, getting too many... Game mis misconducts. What's up, Tyler G? Glad, glad you're stopping by. I'm always glad that all you guys are here to hang out. It's very cool. Uh, as my... Something to do with his... It, maybe, yeah. I, this is, like... Uh, washed. Oh, just joined. Just joined now. Who's your goalies? Now, brother, you're in for an education here, my friend. Uh, our goalies are Chris Beckford, Sue... Now, Chris Beckford, Sue, you might not believe in. And, uh, frankly, my faith is is fading in, in Chris Beckford, Sue. But we also have uh, the ever-faithful David Abisher. Uh, he won the Swiss a six-place medal. Yo, I love David Abisher. Who doesn't love David, Ab David Abisher? He's great. Yeah... Poor, poor Eric Lindros. That sucks, man. You remember Chris Beckford's... There, uh, you are in the minority, my friend. But I... We we love Chris Beckford Sue here. He has become an icon of the... Of this channel's live streams. 9-2 game abs in Canucks when Abisher tried to fight Hedberg. I've never... Oh, it's the Bertuzzi Moore game and Abisher trying to fight Hedberg? Wow. I guess I've never seen the Bertuzzi Moore game in its entirety. And that have been that's Hedberg who got traded at like the deadline. He was only in Vancouver for like a cup of coffee before he ended up signing with Atlanta. <laughs> Goalie nerd profile Joey McDonald. Joey McDonald was always like a guy the kind of guy you'd have on your AHL team in <laughs> change it to Chris Beckford Sue. But yeah, Joey McDonald is kind of the guy that you uh would have on your AHL team in like NHL fifteen or so. Shout out Joey McDonald. He was a A backup sometimes. J I should change my profile picture to Chris Beckford Sue for for a second. Right now it's I literally just made it Tomas Vokun on a on a whim. Because, uh, after my, after my second video, do you play the puck? Do you, I should, I, you know what? Good idea. After, I have two things on the docket. Three things on the docket. I will actually play this Blues game. Then I will, I will do today's Puck Doku. So if you don't want that spoiled, you can do that ahead of me. 
blew a three one lead. And then three, I will J Fresh, if you guys follow J Fresh on Twitter or know of J Fresh at all. He's a hockey analytics guy. But um he shared the a list of every player who has led their team in points since uh since 2006 7 so i think that'd be fun to fun to crank that out real quick but yeah so first i'm gonna play this game uh the blues uh suck eggs and apparently their goalie is oh i have to put beckford sue because i had abisher playing a couple games yeah i love i love thomas folk <laughs> he, he was he's awesome a, I love him partially because um, I am, as I've said before, and I said in that comment to somebody a couple days ago, all from Nova Scotia. Right, Jay Fresh is a, he's a Halifax guy, I think. Like him because he's bald. He is bald. Hey, I mean, I got, I'm not a follically gifted man myself. <laughs> I got, I... I have uh, a few dozen hairs left up there, so I'm clinging to them, but they're a little little messy today, so I got the hat on. But yeah, we're doing the we're we're doing the bit of of guys who played for weird teams. Why are we a 74? Of, oh, it's because of favorite <laughs> All right, what jersey are we wearing? We have three. They only gave us three, and or. Yeah, three. That sucks. All right, I guess we'll just wear the away. Because I can't change the Blues jerseys. Boo. I mean, it's not It's not like the Thrashers had a bunch of different jerseys or anything. This will go great until the second period where royalty-free music. Oh, I have to turn off the... There we go. It will drop frames a couple times because, uh, yeah, because my computer uh, is not the most powerful little guy in the world. So this might be a little uh, slow motion. Okay, here we go. Okay, I might have to turn the frame limiter back off. Okay, there it goes. Oh, Pronger's on the blues again? That's... Oh man, that was a bad turnover. Okay, Thomas Holmstrom. It's so weird going down with a controller, man. The the Thrasher, I I do not think, I do think it's, I do think it's genuinely like a little likely that they come back to to Atlanta with a team, but. I don't think they will be named the Thrashers. I think they'll probably do like a whole new branding thing because the Thrasher, the Thrashers, like uh, they're. I don't even their brand. I guess is is tainted. I would say. Okay. Marek Malik. Please, somebody move. Why doesn't anybody move? <laughs> okay. So, there's not a lot of uh, uh, movement in the offensive zone. It's like, I don't know if you guys saw that clip of uh, Bo and Byram once he got traded to the, to the Sabres. And he's pleading with everybody on the power play to move around. Because he's trying to, like, set up, like, the cycle in the offensive zone. And nobody on the team will move. There's Fuku Fuji. There he is. He's got, like, the... 
he has the generic white helmet. He's ready to rock. Marcus Naslin. Okay, Iggy. Played minor, minor hockey with him. No way. That's that's pretty cool. He's uh, Western Canadian, I think, right? He's a really good CHL player. I I hope I hope he gets to figure it out in the AHL because he seemed he looked so good during the. The Avalanche's cup run. Cranbar. That's that's dope. Good for Byron. Good for you and Byron. I uh, did not play minor hockey with anybody anybody notable. Oh who had the who had the first overall pick in the Byron draft? I'm trying to think. That was is that Jack Hughes? No, that's that's uh no no no. That's I'm conflating the Byron pick and Kale McCarr, I think. Or no, Kale McCarr yeah, that would have been Jack Hughes, I think. I'm I don't think I'm making that up. Lafreniere. You're right, thank you. It was it was Lafreniere and Byfield. And they picked Peyton Krebs. Okay. Okay, okay. How's the analytics of your video? Uh, you're so well done. Uh, yeah, I... As far as... Uh, I do get... I'm sorry if my speech is a little broken up. I'm... It, but yeah, I... Not bad. Uh, oh, 2019 was Jack Hughes. Oh, okay, so I was... Coda League! Uh, but as far as my... The analytics on my videos, I do get pretty... I thanks to you guys thanks to like the the core group that that i have on here i uh i have really good watch time analytics even on my videos that don't get as many oh that was close uh, even on my videos that don't get as many views i have pretty good like engagement and stuff on on my videos which it's i, I don't know i mean it all factors into what YouTube shows to people and stuff like that. And yeah, I mean, it's, I'm, I got really, really lucky, really like as far as, um, my, my first Panthers video that I made the 0304, the ones that sucked. I, I will talk about the 0304 Penguins after I, in, in one second here. But, but, yeah, I got really lucky on my first Panthers video. Well, no, the second Panthers video. I don't know why I said that. On the second Panthers video, the first Panthers video got, like, 70 views, which I thought was awesome at the time, which it was for uh, me having no subscribers. But, um... It, that's... That's really nice of you, Tyler. That's 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 dope. Found me through the Buffalo Slug Slavers video. That's and the the Buffalo Slug video is the one that got a lot fewer vi views than the than the original one. I don't know. It's just the nature of having part one and part two, I guess. But but yeah, I that's on that second Panthers video. I got it was just a lucky break as far as it got picked up. Yeah, the second Panthers video. Yeah. It just got picked up in the algorithm, and that was, strangely enough, a video that I did for a content creation class in... Yeah, Sabres, not Slugs. That was a video that I did for a content creation class at, at school. I, I went online to Oregon State. I don't know if you can see my... I went online to Oregon State. But I, I did that for a content creation class, and it... I don't know. I like posted it and it's like oh oh this video kind of out of nowhere got 2000 views or whatever and that was that was awesome man i i don't know i'm very i'm very thankful that people uh care about about what i make it's it's very cool right it's that's that's great it's just a random like play next video that's and 
the thing with my videos is I do try and like I make them worth watching like as far as if you're watching like if you're sitting down and watching them on your TV or whatever which strangely is where most of my subscribers watch my videos which was something that I did not expect because I almost never watch YouTube on my TV I watch it on my phone almost exclusively but the way I like to watch YouTube is I sit and play NHL or Fortnite or shit. Oh, of course it's freaking Micro Barrow. Loser. Hate that guy. Uh, but I, I do try and make the videos worthwhile to just like sit and listen to if you don't want to like watch them because I like to just... Yeah, right. And I like to just watch videos just in the background while I'm, I don't know, playing something. I've been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate, so I haven't been able to watch as many as many YouTube videos. I was legend, Mike Ribeiro. Uh, yeah, he's soon to be prison legend, Mike Ribeiro. Uh, if you enjoy the works of Mike Ribeiro, do not look up what he's been, what he's been doing recently. Uh, but yeah, uh... I do, and my hope eventually is to, once I have a certain amount of subscribers to do, like, some podcast stuff or whatever as well, like, as a supplement, it would never replace the videos by any means, because I, I know what, what's he done? Uh, he's got pretty substantial allegations uh, surrounding him from, like, multiple different women, but anyway, I, I'm... Is it doesn't seem good. Yeah, it. But yeah, the the two Panthers videos and the first Sabers video. The guy in it's. I'm very thankful that Eric Lindros, baby. I'm yeah, yikes indeed. But I'm very thankful that the guys who have been here since the Panthers video didn't all just like <laughs> didn't all just cut tail and go and watch something else or whatever like what i'm always worried about is the nature of nhl fans is that they like their team you know like they like i i watch i i am a general nhl fan but i am also a penguins fan so i always primarily will watch my team over anything else which is the case for everybody but there are a lot of like a lot of the mid-level between casual and hardcore NHL fans are just interested in their team and I don't and I don't blame and I don't blame people for that. The you know, the Jimmy Howard video and the Marty Natchez video, I really wish got to those were two videos that just did not do very well, but I loved making them. I thought they were both a lot of fun. So, right, and I, I like my team, but still like anything with the 90... Ex exactly. And that's what... And I think there are more people like that than you'd think, you know? The players I haven't thought about in a while. Right. It's the old... It's the old tweet that's about remembering some guys, you know what I mean? Like, dudes can just be at a party and just talk about old athletes for... For 45 minutes, which is what my entire channel is is centered around, just just hanging out and talking about old athletes. But I, uh, yeah, I mean, I I'm hoping, and I think between me and and Graham, who does pinholes, Graham, who does a lot of the similar content to me, um, I think we're carving out a little bit of a niche in of guys who like. I don't know, like the sport just as much as they like their team, you know what I mean? As annoying as the sport can be, as far as, like, culture-wise. But, but yeah, no, I've always, and, I don't know, I just, I, I like to talk about hockey, and a strange thing, in growing up in, like, central Pennsylvania, I, even though I, like, I played hockey and stuff, like, all throughout high school and all that, but I, even the guys I played hockey with didn't care that much about professional hockey. 
So I feel like part of the reason why I make videos is because I I could only ever talk about hockey with like my dad and my uncle were the only people who cared about hockey. So I feel like I'm I'm just throwing a bunch of stuff at a at the wall. Right, my dude. Honestly, if just if if you take the time and write until you're satisfied with something then like there is there's never any harm in trying to do to do something especially like i it if people people can tell when you're putting forth this find any stats either. right like if you're and i primarily do this because it's something that i I like to do. I like to put together these videos and I love, love, love to write about. Like that's the thing that I'm most passionate about. You'll probably notice in my, that I can, I motor through these, ah, radic bonk. I motor through the script writing part of, uh, of the process and then crawl through video editing just because I'm not, I'm not great at it. Right. I I do I like to like bounce off and like talk to somebody else about about what I'm you know, like I I do like to sit down and write like articles and stuff. Like I'll write for like the Penguins fan sided blog sometimes. I haven't written for them in a while cuz my boss quit. But um I I'll write for like Penn's Labyrinth sometimes. I'll I did write for my own Substack. My I had like a free Substack, but I I could link to that at some point. It's it's free. You can read just stuff that I write. But I'm thinking of eventually just like doing like a one dollar, two dollar, three dollar like Patreon once I have a certain amount of subscribers and just I'll do like a hockey article and then like a hockey like a monthly hockey podcast or something but i don't know that's i that's further down the road i'm not really i'm th it's something that's like on my mind oh yeah dude thanks for thanks for coming hanging out i'm white horse yukon very cool i yukon yukon territory has always been interesting to me because of just how sparse the population is but very cool i'm glad you I'm glad you stopped by. Uh, really like writing about stuff. I enjoy I even sat down. And right. I... In one of my... Si right. Yes. I... Uh, when I'm like... Sometimes when I'm like s trying to fall asleep or something, my mind's racing. I'm always like... I'm always making up storylines for like my my current franchise in NHL 24 or something like that or like I I don't know it's it, talking about like stories and stuff is is compelling. I would love to do an English video for a bigger audience but my Quebec accent is so bad. Uh je parle un peu français mais je ne parle bien j'étudie à université but i'm not uh, i am no good french speaker at all i but yeah <sighs> a video on how the new york deeks went let's go datsu go from three first overall pick to cup champs so quickly yeah the nordiques it's i I'm gonna, I'm gonna come out and say the the least controversial take in the history of hockey. The Nordiques, uh, the fact that Quebec City doesn't have a team makes me sad. I, I love Quebec City. I went there a few years ago. It is so cute, so cool, so beautiful. The Chateau de Frontenac is so cool, but I. I, I I wish they had a team. I know I know why they don't. 
But I wish they had a team, and even more, I wish that their team get, didn't get ripped from them right before they won a Stanley Cup. I think that sucks. It makes me sad. Now, I know they probably don't get WA if they're still in Quebec, but blah, blah. Right. The, the thing is, the thing with stats especially if you're looking for like any sort of advanced stats or anything like that is that the nhl unlike i don't know baseball which is so reliant on box scores with hockey you can't tell as much from box scores like i can go through the hockey reference pages and like generally hoytek volsky lighten it up baby but i can <laughs> i can generally tell yeah if he went from the Habs to the nordiques no kidding but I can generally tell, like, kind of what's going on just looking at hockey reference stuff. But it, it, with a lot of my videos are set after analytics are publicly available. This, like the hockey analytics area era. So I, I have a lot more, like, I can understand more who's good and who's not. Like, I can look back and be like, oh, Brandon Witt had this awesome reputation as a shutdown defenseman, but he's allowing X many X goals per 60 or whatever. Like, he's his reputation isn't exactly what he is. And it just should exp I have another... I have a minority opinion, which is I do also think that the NHL should expand to 36 teams because I think 34 is a terrible number. I think 32, either they're going to expand, period. They're, they're going to expand to 34. I think everybody has accepted that that is reality within the next decade. They're going to expand, and they're probably going to go back to Atlanta. They're probably going to go to Salt Lake City, who seems to really want them. And they've always talked about Houston. And Oklahoma City... Well, it's funny you bring up Kansas City, because... When Bettman was talking, it was either Bettman or Daly a few months ago was talking about, like, here's all the cities that have contacted us in the past few years about expansion. And one of them was Omaha, Nebraska. Which is a... Oh, cut Chris freaking deal. Which, Omaha, Nebraska is a bigger city than you'd think. And they really support their college team. Like, University of Nebraska, Omaha... But 34 is right. I, cause what's ha half of 34 is what? That'd be 17. Like that sucks. Sorry. At the Omaha Ask Baron Knight. No, I have no, I have no knowledge of the, but you know, I do think that like, I, I am totally willing to put a team back in Atlanta. I, that's, that's my, I, I know that a lot of people really, really, really hate that idea, but I'm totally willing to put a team back in Atlanta. I, they have a better plan this time, yada, yada. And I don't know, man. I, I think this last two expan, this expansion to, um, to 32 teams instead of 30 has it's it's really it's really helped the league as far as uh like scorings up and stuff you know Axarbent you know that that does sound vaguely familiar now that you say that right if they if if Atlanta, if Atlanta got the expansion that Vegas got, it, or even that Seattle got, because nobody's gonna be stupid enough to do <laughs> to to let another team do the Vegas Golden Knights thing to them again, you know. Like, I think everybody has realized, oh, we can't, we can't just give them good players for free. We can't just give them Riley Smith and Jonathan Marjusso. We can't give away Alex Tuck, yada yada, to keep Matt Dumba. 
like we'll we'll put this on pause for a second go we'll do something else real quick but but yeah i do think that atlanta would still be around if they actually got a reasonable expansion draft as opposed to what they got which was they, they got crap man like them and them and yeah giving the knights a pick to take flower that's still like mind numbingly stupid like oh, oh we we had to do it to keep brian rust it's like yeah i mean they weren't gonna take brian rust though man like do you think they were gonna stick with malcolm suban in goal come on i there was some talk back in the day coyote islander of uh like a Milwaukee team, I think. And Milwaukee loves their admirals from all I, from what I understand. And they like college hockey a lot. Wisconsin, beautiful, beautiful state. I was there a few years ago. We went to, we went to the house on the rock. If you, you probably are familiar with that. A very weird place. If anybody knows the house on the rock. All right. So real quick. We are, I'm going to throw open my Explore and see. Do, 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 do. Okay. Okay. So, let's do this. I have to... All right. Come on. Which window? Yeah, all right. I'm not completely inept. Let me close out the, I mean, the, the totally legal means that I was playing in HL 2008 on. Yeah, that would be absolutely very funny. I, Danny Heatley probably never, yeah, that, that Danny Heatley thing sucks, man. That, it was it's so horrible how do you talk about if you want to talk about current standings how you feel about the wild and blues holding i don't think they'll run vegas down i do think it'd be very funny if <laughs> if they got caught i think it'd be extremely funny but uh yeah i i don't think that they run them down but okay so 30 goal season from an oiler. This should be in my... If any of the oilers were good when I was making the video about them, that would really help. Yeah, it's exactly like Immaculate Grid. It was made... So... Puck, Duke, Puck Doku... Uh, Immaculate Grid has their own... Has their own uh, Puck Doku version. But yeah, Puck, Puck Doku is... It was the first hockey grid game of its kind. And I like it because its prompts are... Its prompts are better. And sometimes they'll have, like... Different writers will come in, like Jeff Follett or Jay Fresh or... Uh, Ryan Lambert or somebody like that. Maybe we'll come... Hey, I... I would love to... I love Big Ten hockey. I grew up only a half hour from state college so uh, state college pennsylvania so i went to a bunch of a bunch of penn state games played it played a couple games of my own at their arena back in the day but but yeah i love i love college hockey i think college hockey is awesome i do not i i would love to make a college hockey video but it's a lot harder to hunt stuff down for than it is for than it is for, for professional hockey but yeah, so 30 goals for a penguin. Now, I wish this was like the the hoop grid where I could just keep shooting crap at the wall until it until it sticks. Cuz I know I can get a right answer, but I got to I got to dig, you know. Closest team to me are the Barry Colts. You under. Yeah, I people love oh, an LNAH video. They uh, the mean guys. But the LNAH is like low key a little sad, like not in like a not in like oh these guys are bums, but in like a these guys are fighting for their like livelihoods up there. Like they're they're brutal. 
The Danbury Trashers. I think Netflix beat me to that one, unfortunately. But no, there's I I thought about making like a short about the the Viking Award, which is uh Swedish professional Swedish NHLers vote for who they think the best Swedish NHLer is. It's it's kind of weird. They haven't awarded it since 2019, so it's still Elias Lindholm. But yeah, the. Uh, I, the OHL fans seem to be... I have no concept of how popular junior hockey is in Canada at all. Like, I know vaguely how popular college hockey is here in the States. And I know how popular our junior leagues are, which is uh, not. <laughs> but I... Uh, yeah, I have no concept of how how popular CHL teams are. But So for the Penguins, a 30-goal guy for the Penguins. So... Let me, I'll run you through my thought process here aloud. I am a, as I've said, a Penguin fan, fortunately or unfortunately. Uh, let's go with, we'll throw it back. We'll do Rick Kehoe, who I believe scored 30 goals for the Penguins. Bang, 1%. Let's go, Rick Kehoe. Have you ever heard of the Great Lakes Hockey League? I have not. I have not heard of the Great Lakes Hockey League. Ronnie Franchise, he's going to get me too many points. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta go with weird guys. So a lot of people probably did the thirty goals for uh, Robbie Brown. So I'm gonna do Rob Brown for thirty assists. Robbie Brown, Robbie Brown for point seven. All right, we're on fire. Yeah, we. I I go for rarity as often as I can. I, but we'll see. It which I thought wasn't super popular, but after being a cup. Of that's that's pretty cool. I know it's really popular in like in the Maritimes. I know the Maritimes love Jonquier Marquis. Interesting. I not a not a team that I know of, but a team that I will look up. Um Yeah. Uh yeah, I know that the junior hockey is really big in the Maritime Maritimes and stuff. Like I know Halifax gets Halifax is big and uh like the st john sea dogs are big and stuff like that because i feel like there's um my understanding of canada is that there's uh nothing else to do in the maritimes other than watch junior hockey so 60 point penguin um i'd love to say like marcus nasland but i don't think he hit 60 points with the pens, uh, Sergei Zubov would have done it, but they probably. Let's see. Let's see if I can. Who's a weird. Steve Sullivan was a penguin for 30 seconds, but wouldn't have gotten. I don't think he got 60 points. I don't think Pascal Dupuis ever got 60 points. Oh. 60 point penguin. Oh, let's go. Somebody requested a video on him. Let's go Joe Mullen. I love Joe Mullen. Bang. All right. So we're still cooking. We only got Joe Mullen. Yeah. Hey. Joe. <laughs> I I had the chat. I had the chat down so I could type. But yes, Joe Mullen. All right. Uh, sixty point Euler. Uh, my mind jumps to my mind jumps to Dustin Penner for every single one of these categories, but. Uh, 30 gold Blackhawk, I'm doing Eric Daze, just because I think he's cool. Ah, oh, too many people like Eric Daze. Uh, 30 gold Euler, who's a... Did McT McTavish would have hit 30. Paul Coffey would have, of course, hit 30. Um, everybody from that, like Yari Curry and Gretzky and blah, blah. Kevin Lowe would add 30 assists. Steve Smith would add 30 assists. I don't know. Should have gone Wayne Presley. Did Wayne Presley have 60 points? Is that the... That's the question. Did Wayne Presley have 60 points? So, debate whether we want to put Wayne Presley in for 60 <laughs> points or not. If you know off the top of your head. But, um... Yeah, so... Oilers 60 points. Like I said, my mind jumps to Dustin Penner. 30 assists. Justin Schultz would add 30 assists, I believe. No. Oh, you know what? 
Uh, Luba Visnovsky. Lubomir Visnovsky would add 30 assists. No! Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Where are we putting Dave Manson? Now I'm demoralized. I'll put Penner in for 30 goals, but I'm not happy about it. Marty Jelena, Adam Graves. Adam Gr right. He was an oiler. Adam Graves. Oh, he didn't have 30 assists. Because he... Adam Graves and 32 assists. Uh, Dave Manson. We'll put Dave Manson in there. There you go, Dave Manson. Look at you. Man, he looks like his kid. Him and Josh look like carbon copies of each other. All right, so we'll get we'll get one nice guess in here. Does anybody have any Wayne Presley scored sixty one? We're putting in Wayne Presley. Wayne Presley. There he is. He's a zero point zero. He could have been the the hoops grid does does unicorn. So you can see if you're if you're the only person who who did it. Oh, we can keep going. That's fun. We might as well. You ever thought about doing a video on the Arizona Coyotes? I, yeah, I would like to do a video on the the 2012 Coyotes. The Ray Whitney, Redeem Verbata, Mike Smith Coyotes that go sicko mode in the playoffs and, and like, drag themselves to the conference finals. Let's go Bedard. Yeah. All right, we'll put in Bedard. I feel like people might not immediately think of Bedard. Yeah, he's only 3%. And he's got a weird picture. Uh, oh, Kyle Calder. Oh, that's a good... Kyle Calder, weirdly kind of good. For, like, a minute. 60 points with the Oilers. There's got to be... The only guys who had 60 points during the DOD was like. <laughs> I'll be the first. Hey, I, I, I don't think it's, it's definitely, I, it's definitely in my to-do list. I will say that for sure. Yeah, I, I, I do feel bad for Mike Smith. <laughs> I feel bad for him as well, but I, his Doug weight that's that's great he absolutely did uh two percent that's good not bad let's see what everybody else guessed but yeah Doug weight uh but yeah Mike Smith I do think it was kind of weird when he signed with it was either Edmonton or Calgary I forget which one he went to first when he signed with Edmonton or Calgary and then uh shivved the Arizona on the way out was like, uh, actually, I uh, it, it'll be good to finally have people play defense in front of me, and then went to and then wasn't particularly good after that. It's like, okay, Mike Smith, like, let's get over yourself a little bit here. Did anybody say Wayne Presley except for us? Three people. There were three three Presley heads in there. Do the immaculate the base the hockey one or the baseball one? bring it up here here's my my msn home page all right uh i'm so like i wasn't able to pick any goalies today in puck doku so sad that is true uh three people who know yeah that's right all right hockey i i always like embarrass myself on the baseball one and like it kind of makes me sad. Okay, 50 assists in a season. I love to go with any Leafs one. I love to go with Dave Keon, who didn't have 50 assists in a season. I'm such a fraud, dude. That sucks. I know no other sport but other than hockey. I I like to like follow my teams in baseball and football, but I don't. I'm not gonna. What I what I really know is women's basketball. Just just kidding. Anyway, fifty assist season. Placanic. 
Yeah. Mechanic. Because I always have trouble with that Toronto to Montreal connection. So Ducks, Montreal. Uh, there's a goalie I can't think of off the top of my head. Um, let's see. Boyd Gordon played in Arizona. In yeah, Boyd, 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 Boyd. Boyd. Gordon. Bang. 0.1% for Boyd. Where's uh, Yuri, Yuri Seacatch? Where you mentioned him earlier? Where's he? Where's he fit into this? I don't know him off the top of my head. Like I know, I know the name, but that's about it. Arizona brings my mind to uh, Briz, Montreal, Anaheim. Sure, man. Wow, he played for two. Wow, a, a sub. How did two percent know that guy? Habs Ducks. You guys are you guys are for real, man. Uh, 50 assist season. That's a lot of assists. So that's Paul Korea. Korea, Getzlov, not Perry. Did Would S Scott Niedermeyer have hit 50 assists with them? Probably not. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. I love that he was talking about... I didn't know until I made... Uh, the Oilers part three that he was talking about Pronger in that video, which is much funnier to me. Half flyers, Jeff Hackett. There you go. There's a goalie. <laughs> There's a goalie. You want to talk about, we were talking about the 92, 93. Oh, John Cordick might've even been better. There's J I want to talk about a guy who was <laughs> carrying a team. Poor Jeff Hackett on the, 92 sharks is posting a like above average save percentage in losing 27 of 42 games poor guy anywho michael telquist michael telquist what a poll that's that's a great poll Let's see if we can get the Coyotes Ducks one with somebody better than Brisgow Live. All right, so uh, did was Rob Niedermeyer a Coyote? Do we know? I think he was, but I'm not. No, that doesn't seem right. I, I I'm second guessing myself. Ilya Labushkin. Yes, absolutely. Ilya Labushkin. Ilya Labushkin also would have worked for Leafs, Coyotes. But yeah, Gordo's carrying it. Let's, who's a fifty? Can we get a good fifty assist guy? I'm kind of pissed about the Dave Keon thing. <laughs> Briz was well. The thing is, Briz with the Coyote, he was really good. <laughs> like really, really good. Oh, Cujo. He was a coyote. He, him... I'm trying to think of, like, the guys I think of. T Telquist is a better is a better pick. I'm trying to think of the guys I think of as coyotes goaltenders, but... Todd Federuk. Right. Okay. That's a good poll. Did Renberg... Renberg wouldn't have gotten 50 assists at any point. I'm trying... Rod Brindamore. That's... I think that I think that's our guy. Hot rod, there you go. Two percenter. That's a good pull. Let's see. The Ducks have such a short history that it's tough. I don't. Leafs obviously. You have Doug Gilmore. You have Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner, blah blah. Morgan Riley. I think some people wouldn't immediately think of. Rod Brandermore, a really good player. I don't know if he's a Hall of Famer, but really good for a really long time. Let's look at his hockey reference page. What you up to here, Hot Rod? Uh, yeah. I mean, he had 97 points, 60, 62 assists there with the with the Flyers, and then 50 another time. 
Hit 50 assists twice. Three times. 61 there. Good for you, Rod. He didn't win a Selkie until he was in Carolina. That seems wrong. Whatever. Poor Rod. Yeah, D Dougie Gilmore's the... I feel like less people would say him than, than Matthews and Marner, at least. Okay, so it was only... There were only six guys from the Ducks. Can I name all of them off the top of my head? So there's for sure Getzlov. There's for sure Solani. There's for sure uh, Korea. There is also probably... Another guy who comes to my mind is Steve Ruchin. I don't know if he did it. Uh, Scott Niedermeyer, I think, did. I don't know. Steve Thomas... 50, I bet he did. All right, let's see. Getzlov, Lubo, and Andy freaking McDonald, dude. I should have known Andy McDonald. That, oh, man. I should have known Andy McDonald. Absolutely should have known Andy McDonald. That's... <sighs> I feel like I've let everyone down. Let's see who did it for the Leafs. Marner, of course. Nylander, of course. Oh yeah, I should have pulled. <laughs> I should have pulled Norm Ullman. Yeah, no, Norm Ullman. Who had tw twelve hundred points? Oh my gosh! Shout out Norm Ullman. One time first team All Star. One team time second team All Star. Runner up for the heart. Norm Ullman. And Ian Turnbull, I have at least heard his name. Oh, and Borea Salming. Yeah, we love Borea Salming here. Big Borea Salming supporter. Wilf. Yeah, yeah, Wilf Payment. A, like, an 80s Leaf guy. Played for the Kansas City. Jesus, they put this guy on some garbage teams. Like, okay, play for the Kansas City Scouts, then play for the, the Cleveland Bear. Oh, no, the Colorado Rockies, not the Cleveland Barons. The Colorado Rockies, then play for the 80s Leafs, who are famously horrific. Then play for the 83 Nordiques. The Nordiques are at least, like, a team. I think they, this is like Stastny era Nordiques, so. And then the 80s Rangers, who I don't think were very good. The Rangers were bad at pretty much every for a team that talks about um, being this, like, f franchise of winning and winning, Fishbowl Visors versus cager Cages. Oh, um, so, like, you're playing... Uh, so, for... Yeah, at Cages. Uh, always. For me, personally. I, I don't know. I always thought I could see pretty well out of them. Pull up Wayne Presley. I will look him up. Sorry. I had clicked clicked away from the There he is. There he is scoring 32 goals. He would not have counted for the 30 assists, but there he is scoring 32 goals for the 80s Blackhawks. Shout out, Wayne Presley. Oh, and here's a fun fact for those of you who do not know. You might be saying, why does it change from CBH to Chai randomly? That is because from between their founding and 1986, the Chicago Blackhawks were not the Chicago Black... So now you know them as the Chicago Blackhawks. Previously, they were sh the Chicago Blackhawks. Why? Meh, meh, meh. It was like a... When they founded the team, they named them the Black Hawks. It's like, dude, if you're gonna use the, like... The borderline offensive uh, logo, you might as well at least pay tribute to the people you're using, you know? But no, they were the Black Hawks. Very weird. Right! That's right. They did find an old document. Yes, it, but they, they had it, and it turns out they had it wrong all these years. I read somewhere they were named after some guy. I believe they, I believe they were, yes. It's like a specific, it's either a specific Native American tribe or a specific 
Native American chief. I don't. I don't know off the top of my head, uh, unfortunately. But, but yes. Okay. So I am. Shout out, Chief Blackhawk. Love you. Shout out. So I'm gonna go to FKA Twitter real quick. You can see all my my penguins feed. Let's bring up Jay Fresh because he shared a Sporkle quiz that I would like to do. Where are you? He's sharing Alex Nylander going off with the Blue Jackets. Oh, come on, man. You had to do team card requests before this. There it is. Okay. So, we have 15 minutes to name every player who led their team in scoring from 2007 to 2023, 24. So, Sock Tribe Legend. Okay, cool. That's I something I should know more about, truthfully. But all right. So, prepare yourselves cuz we're going to go Oh, and each of these is a specific player, obviously. So, this is, I would assume, somebody like Sebastian Ajo here. I think it's alphabetical. but And there's, it wouldn't be Zabanajad. Got to hit it. Yeah, dude, thanks for, thanks for coming and hanging out. As I'm always glad when you guys come and hang out. It's very, very, very cool. The all-time save record in a Russian minor. No, I I did not see that. I'll have to look it up. All right, so let's get let's get cracking on on this. I have 15 minutes, so I will I will jump back and forth between here and chat. But when I'm in this page, I don't know. I wish I could find a way to like overlay chat better than I do right now. But I'm so bad with OBS. Anyway, all right. <laughs> Let's let's get this let's get this started. So first, Aho, bang. Uh, let's go, Alfredson. There he is. Okay. Uh, Hosa is probably on here somewhere. Uh, where's a couple Sedins? Where's Crosby? Where's Yager? Where's Malkin? Where's uh, Placanic? Okay, I got that one. I didn't know if I got the spelling right on that. Uh, Stamkos. Uh, Kucherov. Uh, who's that Atlanta 2010 guy? Where is... <laughs> Felino did it? Really? He did! Uh, Kovalchuk, of course. Uh, Anderson. Okay, Josh Anderson did not do it. I wondered about that. Um, Carlson. It's Eric. And that would also knock out William. Yep. Okay. Uh, Parise. Did Suter ever do it? No. Did Weber ever do it? Yes. Okay. Uh, Bacchus. All right. So that gives me a little bit of a where I'm at as far as those, those are concerned. Where's Castle. Did Bozak ever do it? No. Uh, Matthews. Marner. Marner led them in points four times. That's crazy. Rick Nash. Good call. Um, Kreider. Did I say Kreider already? No, but I guess he's not there. <laughs> Banijad. Wow, I spelled that right. Way to go, me. Uh, Stepan. Um, Natchez. Uh, Everly. Yep. Hall. Penner. Trying to reel off the Oilers <laughs> real quick. Smith. No. Because he'd have been after that. Yeah, Everly Hall. McDavid, of course. Um, gentleman. Dry Sidle. Um, did 
Jordan Stahl. Oh, but Eric did. Yeah, Eric Stahl. Ray Whitney. Fox name origin. Right. Yes. Yes. Good Gallagher. I I now remember that story, F said. Whitney. That might hit yeah, that's just Ray. Okay. Um Peron. Yep, okay. Uh Bergeron. I'm trying to get like the superstars. Pasternak. Pasternak. Okay, that's how you spell it. Marshand. Uh San Jose Thornton. Marlowe. Uh do you mind me spitting off random No 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 no. That's I, I'm cool with that, man. I'm I'm looking over to chat for help half the time. Uh Florida Ekblad? No. Barkov? Yes. Um But yeah, no, I like you guys participating. That's that that makes it more fun for me. We hit Galley. Man, this is like overwhelming. Who is this? Oh, it's who is this? Oh, it's Gaudreau. Okay. I'm still looking at this Atlanta 2010. If anybody chained down. Great call. Great call. Uh, I'm so stuck on that stupid Atlanta one that it's it's distracting me. Doug Waite, was he good enough, late enough? No. Getzlov. Perry. Uh, Zegris, did he do it? He did. Uh, Antropov. That's absolutely who it is. Nick Antropov. Okay, I'm trying to do this in semi semi-order but uh marsh is uh you see yoking and yep yoking and yeah oh i got i got Oli. so just Oli. i don't think i have to guess yoking and again no i didn't for the sabines horvat good call Bo horvat huberdo yep uh philadelphia that's gotta be drew yep Minnesota 17. I wonder if Spurgeon? No, no. I'm. That's stupid. Kaprizov. Um, okay. The Islanders B. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking. Oh, J there's Jamie Ben. Ben. Uh, CBJ. Man, shows how much attention. Jack Hughes, of course. And that. Did Quinn Hughes. I guess Quinn never did. Is he. I don't think he's on pace to lead them in points this year. Montreal. Oh, that's Patchy Ready. If I can spell it. Max. <laughs> okay. Nelson. Okay. Great call on Brock Nelson. Uh, there's Ryan O'Reilly. There's Ovi. There's Patchy Reddy, but I can't spell it. Uh Cop Connor. Good call. Jumbo Joe. We did I did nail Jumbo Joe. And I nailed Marlowe as well. Bada. There's Ruddy and Verbata. We said Ray Whitney. We said Shane Doan. Minnesota. Who is that? Kopitar with. It is. Oh my gosh. I never realized he led them. Jury. I. Oh, OEL. Absolutely. Suzuki. Suzuki. Uh, Ekman Larson. Pen. 
Get you ready. Yes, that was correct. Good call, electric friend. All right. Uh, Buffalo 2020 Thompson. Uh, Ottawa Stone's got to be on here somewhere. Yep. Uh, call is that Sackick still? No. It's, it's, Svatos wouldn't have done it. Wolves. He. It might be Svatos. No. Okay. Rest in peace, Mark Svatos. Gabby. Gabrick. And did Richards? There's at least one Richards. I don't know. Oh, both of them. Yep. Both Mike and Brad. Mark Strite. Captain of that Islanders team, I believe. Uh, Sundin. Yep. Um. Still thinking about this stupid blue jacket. I can't get my brain off of it. Uh, Chicago 2014. Patters at Forsberg. Good call. Because that'll get a couple, I think. A couple Forsbergs. Connect me. And Z got Zegers. Need Terry still. Good call. Got Gabby. Got OEL. Got Forsberg, Barzell, yep. Um, let's see. Let's see if there's anybody. Who is the... Is that Henrique? It is. Uh, Philadelphia and L.A. Carter. Uh, Montreal... Who's the Montreal and Chicago guy? That's weirding me out. Colorado. 11-4. Oh, Poso. McK McKinnon. McKinnon. Marlowe. Got Marlowe. Do need... T did I put in Terry yet? I did. Okay. Uh, Florida, 2017... It's Yager. Did I put in Yager? He has a Florida season. Uh, Savard? Yep. Um, Max Domi. Good pull. Boone Jenner. Absolutely. Oh, no. No Boone, unless I already put him in. Derek Roy. Of course, Derek Roy and Vanek. Derek Roy and Vanek and Pominville. And... Drury, nope. Briere, nope. Wow. It's it's since oh seven oh eight, so no. Dr Drury and Briere are a little bit past, I guess. Larkin, Lecavalier, uh, Shifley. I'm surprised I have messed up as little as I have with typing these guys' names. Who's the other Z Ranger? Because there's Zabanajad, but where's Sod? Oh, no, no Sod here. I guess he got split up or something. Panera, that does remind me of Panera, though. Uh, New Jersey, Montreal... No, nah, no sweat. Saint Louis. Saint Louis. Martin Saint Louis. Okay. He, he I I would think he'd be there. Jerdev. Yeah, he's the two thousand nine. Scotty Hartnell. Yep. No, I guess not. Philly Columbus. It's uh, Voracek, I think, then. Yeah, there he is. Uh, Zuccarello. Absolutely. If I can spell him. Did Zucker didn't do it, also. I should have known Matt Zuccarello. I love Matt Zuccarello. Zetterberg. Good call. And we'll put... Scotty Gomez has got to be on here. Nope. Okay. 
Give me more time, timer. I want to fill this whole thing out. I think we can do it. Can I pause the timer? Oh. Okay. I have to let the timer keep going. Keller. Yep. Clayton Keller. Uh, we got Phil. Chara. No. Krejci. Yes. Lidstrom. No. Did Fedorov randomly lead a team late in his career? Uh, Taves, of course. And Kane. Both Canes. Uh, are there any Smiths? No. Okay. I was just trying to cheese one in there. Uh, who's this? The, sh the career blue. Is it Steen? No. Jamie Ben nailed Jamie Ben. We're good on. We're full up on Bens. Uh, I should know the 09 lead. Where's Van Reams Dyke? Reams Dyke. Okay. Name that I can't spell. Datsuk, of course. Goodness gracious. Tavares. I'm surprised he never led the Leafs in scoring. He scored a lot of points with them. CBJ, Buffalo, Dallas. Buffalo. Where's Sagan? Shen. Braden Shen. I want to know who this... Oh, Calgary and Florida, three years apart. Who is that? Oh, Kachuk. Da da, da 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 Montreal and Calgary. Is Sean Monahan on here? No. Prosper. Benny Prosper. All right, that's time. So, oh, Cam Atkinson. Durr. Okay, Cam Atkinson. Our big misses. We did score above average. Okay, that's. That's that's what I was hoping for. I tried to type in Marcia So, but I couldn't spell his name. Cam Atkinson, Nick Backstrom, Stephen Weiss, right? Ollie Bjorkstrand, Nick Bjugstad. Okay, Jason Blake. Uh, that's a good. Uh, and who was the blue I was looking for? Where is he? Oh, it's Vladimir Tarasenko. Goodness gracious. It's embarrassing. And Iggy, I did, I just didn't type in, I guess. PLD, JP Dumont, Thomas Fleischman, Kovalev, Kuznetsov, Kairou, Lad, Marcheseau, McCann, McDonald, Meyer, Miller, Pavelski, Patterson, Point. Okay. Raquel, Ribeiro, Robertson, Schmaltz, Toffoli. Okay. I mean... Eliosh, sure. There he is. Patrick Eliosh. Should have gotten Jack Eichel. Uh, who were, like, the multi-season guys that I missed? Like, the, the guys who had Alex Hamsky, I should have gotten. That was stupid. Cody Hodgson. Jeez. That's a, that's a tough look. Cody Hodgson. Uh, Andrew Ladd, three years with Atlanta. Good for him, man. Jonathan Marcheseau, Jared McCann. And there's Andrew. There's Andy McDonald rearing his rearing his head once again. He led the 2010 Blues in points. That that's very strange. Kyle Palmieri, Pavelski, Patterson, Ranton, Wheeler. Okay. All right. Did Jack make any other quizzes? Can I look at his quiz list? Quizzes. Oh, okay. Uh,
Okay. We'll do... We'll do this... I forgot about Timo, because he was missing for a while on the chart. Right. Yes, Mike the Fondler Ribeiro. That's right. Koivu. Should have gotten Koivu. Turning it... Hey! Glad, glad you could stop in, some dude. Sorry, I didn't see that until now. Marty Erat, of course. Patrick Eliash. Roman Yossi. We totally... We totally missed the Predators. All right, so this one, we this is just like, it's it's Puck Doku, but for every team we have to name one guy who has been on both teams. No, I mean, and it's since two thousand seven, so it's all modern guy. In my opinion, which team has the coolest logo? I do. I do like, and I'm not just saying that because it's it's the one in front of me, but I do like the Kachina uh, Coyotes logo. I think it's very cool. And I'm also biased, but I, I love the, the angry skating penguin for my penguins. Uh, we do have to say Boyd Gordon for every single answer. He's going to be a lot of them. Uh, but yeah, I... Let me think. I... I kind of like the Canuck whale. I know that's not the most popular thing in the world, but I think it's kind of neat. Um, the shark is good. Uh, I kind of like Florida's... I like Florida. both of Florida's Panthers, I think, are kind of neat. But yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of... Now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of like the Kachina. I have a... I like the Avalanche's logo, even though it's kind of weird and, <laughs> and abstract. But I like it, even though it's, I don't know, it's just a big A. But I have a, I have a sweatshirt with it on it that I think is cool. And I wear that a decent amount. Oh, you know what? You know what? I think my favorite is the uh, Paul Korea Mighty Duck with the duck mask and the sticks behind it. I think that's very cool. That's That might be my favorite. But, all right, let's, let's name some, let's name some guys here. We have 20 minutes for this one, and then I think that'll be... I think then we'll call it after that. But, yeah. It's been... Colorado, Tampa Bay. We got we got Ross Colton, baby. We're, he's he's in the chamber. All right, let's, let's kick it off. First, for my man, Boyd Gordon. Bang. It, it only shows the top guy for... Alphabetically for each of them. So, I, I did not guess Aaron Volpati. <laughs> Uh, have I thought about making a Discord server? I've yeah, I've thought about it. I just I'm so bad at Discord. <laughs> I it's like I don't know. It's so foreign to me <laughs> that whenever I like try to talk to some, because I'm in like a couple, like I'm in like one for Clone Hero, like the Guitar Hero clone. And I'm in one for the Puck Soup podcast, and I'm I'm in Graham's. You're in Hashem. Good call. But I, it, it's just it's very foreign to me. Oh, this was made last year, so no Ross Colton yet. So uh, put that in your frame of reference that it is. It's sl slightly out of date. Uh, Ottawa and Pittsburgh. Let's do Derek Broussard. Derek Broussard was a... Holy cow! Alright. Derek Broussard kills a lot of... Ornquist. Let's do... Cutter... Go yeah, I know. No Cutter Gauthier. But yeah, not a bad guess with Ross. Gustav Lindstrom. Bang. Gustav Lindstrom. Uh... Iginla went a lot of places near the end of his career. Uh, Gabrick went more places than you'd think. Um, Florida, Vancouver. That's my man, Alex Ald. Oh, Brian Allen. Does he count yet? Okay. I guess that's not since 2007. So we have to go with... Luongo. Oh, no, we'll go with David Booth. There you go. And we'll do Luongo, too. A guy whose name I do not know how to spell. Okay, fine. I guess he was only on Florida. Signing up. See you, man. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. It was it was very cool to to have you come hang out, my friend. Um. Hmm. 
Okay. Let's put in Jamie Ben or Jordy Ben, Pat Maroon, Niami. Good call on Niami and Patty. Gabrick was traded as a as that's the old Gabrick and. Does Datsuk hit any for because of that? Because he shuffled around late in his career. To he was an old get sent to Arizona and hover there for a little while guy. Did N how many teams did Jonas N Roth play for? Um, let's see Arizona and Chicago. Let's do Nick Schmaltz. Okay, that is how you spell that. Anaheim and Toronto. You can... Uh, okay, I don't know how to spell that guy's name. Pull you. Okay. Did I misspell Pull you RV, or is it even more out of date than I thought? We'll put... Okay, there's Fogel. Yager, good. That Yogs will knock out some. Edmonton and NYR since 2007. Uh, oh, Talbot. There's Cam Talbot. Anton Forsberg. Good. Very nice. Fanuff, yeah. There's Dion. All right. Uh, Anaheim, Toronto is killing me. Jason Blake. There we go. Uh, Arizona, Calgary. Uh, the goalie, Mike Smith. Uh, Calgary, Vancouver. Does, is Tanev count yet? Yes. Uh, Montreal, Tampa Bay. Oh, Jiggy. Yep. He'll hit something, yeah. Uh, Ryan Miller, good call. Uh, let's hit Philadelphia, Tampa Bay. Oh, I almost just typed in my own chat and said I was on the wrong tab. There's a Richards, Sergachev. Does he count? He does. He does count. I, did he? Play, I guess he played for Montreal then. Barkley Goodrow. That's a good weird guy. Ottawa, Tampa Bay. I think of. Oh, who's the the little tiny guy who got traded for Ben Bishop? Which of course hits that. But oh man, what's his name? His name starts with C. Nick Paul. Nick Paul. That's a good Ottawa, Tampa Bay. Uh, where's, I need that Philly Tampa Bay. Let's, we'll move on to Arizona, Vancouver. That's the, mm, Larson. that was, there's a ton of guys because a bunch of crap got sent over. The Cavalier. Yes. Yeah. I forgot Vinny played for, that was after Tampa Bay bought him out, I think. Oh, David Savard. David Savard, I missed that one. And Mark Savard also might... No. No Mark Savard. Poor Mark Savard. Kirby! Not who I was... I'm thinking of Corey Conacher. He's the other... He's the slightly less little. No Tyson Jost yet, because I think he's more recent... Breeze Galov. Taurus is a good call. Where's Duchesne? You know Matt Duchesne's having like an insanely good year? Did anybody know that? <laughs> I feel like nobody knew that at all. Uh, another guy having a no skinner yet. Uh, we must already have his block. Uh, another guy having a weirdly good year. Uh, Gustav Nyquist. Whose block we must already have. Anaheim, Pittsburgh, uh, Carl Hagelin. Uh, Atlanta, Winnipeg. Wait, <laughs> hold on. Uh, Andrew Ladd? All right. Uh, 
right. Did I put in Taurus yet? Taurus. Okay, I think I did. All right. Carolina, Toronto. A pipeline that I feel is not... Like, I feel like those teams don't. Buff. We must already have his. Carolina, Toronto are two teams that I do not feel like trade with each other very often. And we have Buffalo, Minnesota, too. Did we mention... Oh, Pominville. There we go. Okay, we have Carolina, Toronto hanging out. We have Buffalo, Florida. I Man, I should know Buffalo, Florida. Hammond. And Phil Myers. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Hammond. Oh, bunting. 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 Oh, it's it's post Bunting's too recent. Mrazic. Mrazic. Okay, there we go. Dubois. Not we don't he's too recent, I guess. Did I put in Hammond? Hammond? Okay, I put him in. Reinhardt. Another guy having a weirdly good season. Hey, welcome back, Mike Mike. We're uh, guessing guys who are on connected teams. You found... Hey, that's that's what we love to hear. All right. Uh, New York, Toronto, Edmonton, Pittsburgh. Edmonton, Pittsburgh, Justin Schultz. New York, Toronto. What do we got? Who in the world played on Carolina and San Jose? A goalie? There's James Neal. I think it's... I, I don't know why, but my... Br Rhymer. <laughs> That's who I'm thinking of. I'm trying... I, I knew it was uh, a vaguely a goalie. All right. Uh, NYR in Toronto. Brent Burns. Good call. Did I just put in Brent? Mm-hmm. I guess Brent was somebody else. Put in James Neal. Uh, what about Nick Spalling? Does he fit in anywhere? No. Okay. New Jersey, San Jose. Would Meyer have been traded yet? No. Okay. So Zetterland wouldn't have been traded yet either. That makes this tougher. Blackwood wouldn't be over there yet. What are we looking for? We're looking for uh, guys who have connections between these two teams. So I'm looking for, for example, a Toronto NYR guy. Or an Anaheim Dallas guy. Anaheim Dallas, I feel like, should be easy. Oh, do ya? Sure. Johnny Oduya. Do I know any Ducks? I, I'm starting to think that I just don't. Does Josh Manson fit anywhere? No. Lindholm, Vatanen. Okay, that hits Anaheim, Dallas. There we go. Un unintentionally, Nick Benino. That's a good call. There we go. Eric Carlson. That should hit also the other Carlson. <laughs> yeah, Bedard, Chicago, Vancouver. That's right. Vanek. Good call, Vanek. All right. Bones is a good call. NYR Toronto is killing me, man. Because I really liked a lot of those Cop Ranger teams. Oh, she. There we go. And hit St. Louis, Washington. That also reminds me of Troy Brower. Adam Larson. Uh, Calgary and Montreal. Monaghan. Is he over in Montreal yet? No, not yet at this point. Chicago and Edmonton. I'm thinking of I'm thinking too recently. This being a year old is killing me. Keith. I forgot he played for Edmonton. And people wanted Ken Holland's head for that. Orlov. Good call. Oh, uh, this is before he left Washington. Dang. Orlov's been with two different teams since then. Edmonton, Vancouver. 
Where's David Booth? Does he fit anywhere? I already put him. Edmonton, Vancouver. Do those teams trade with each other? Yeah, we can... Oh, there we go. Yes, Edmonton. Right, because doesn't UC come over way late in his career? Calgary, Montreal. Calgary, oh, no, no, no. I don't want to search the word Aaron. Buffalo, Edmonton. Buffalo, Edmonton. Cogs, Cogliano. No, we must have his blocks already. Buffalo and Edmonton. Almost Thomas Vanek. Uh, Jack Campbell. Jack Campbell's good. Let's put Campbell. That'll give you Brian as well. Uh, Buffalo, New Jersey. Oh, Rene Bork. Nice, Rene Bork. Good pull. Matt Hunwick. I missed Matt Hunwick. Matt Hunwick. Tyler Pitlick. Keith Orla. Pekka. Mike Pekka. Nothing for Mike Pekka. Oh, it's, it's since 2007. Sorry. I forgot to add that. But Ennis. Ty Ennis. There we go. Finally. Okay. Buffalo, New Jersey. Do those... There's a... Again, there's a goalie. Luke Shin. There we go. Think of Buffalo, New Jersey in the back of your mind, but we're gonna... New Jersey, Toronto. It's a... Uh, VC? Was he a... Yes. Okay. Uh, Minnesota, New Jersey... Parise, of course. Spiza. There's Lucas Spiza. Gionta. Uh, Minnesota, New Jersey is, of course, Parise. Anaheim, Ottawa. Oh, Bobby Ryan. Arizona, San Jose. Uh, Aiden Hill. Uh, we're we're gonna come we're coming we're bringing it right down the wire here. Boston, Minnesota, jo Jose Teodor. There we go. Thank you, Jose Teodor, for playing in Colorado for ten minutes. Uh, Boston, Minnesota, Coil. L.A. Montreal, Liam O'Brien. What a ball. <laughs> Kevin Weeks. Ah, not quite. He's Budai. Budai. If I can spell it. There we go. There's Peter Budai. I forgot he played in L.A., man. All right. Uh, Montreal, Toronto is, of course, Placanic. 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 Goodness gracious. New Jersey, Nashville. Subban. Hall. There we go. Subban. Anaheim and Boston would be Lindholm, but not yet at this point. Um, hmm. Did we get... Oh, we did end up getting Buffalo and New Jersey accidentally. Okay, Carolina and New Jersey. Leipzig. Wow. Zach Sanford. Zach Sanford does have to pull something. No, nothing yet. Jordan... There's Jordan Leipzig. Brendan Leipzig, sorry. He's the guy who got... Who they said, get, get off my team. No, Mar no mojo yet. Boy Chuck. The the good one or the one that follows everyone on Twitter? That's the that's the question. It's good old Zach Boychuk. Uh Buffalo Calgary. Did uh, We're so close, man. Uh Chicago, Vancouver. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of bums who went from Vancouver to Chicago. Where's is Dickinson? No, not yet. 
Claude Lemieux, Gaunch. Did Gaunch play enough? Gaunch didn't play enough after 2007. Beauvillier. Nothing yet. Uh, Lazar. Well, it's the curse of this being a past game. Lars Eller. There's Lars. Carolina, New Jersey. Carolina, New Jersey. That should be Kevin Weeks. I... Didn't he play? He wasn't a devil? Are we sure? Breer. There's Breer. Boston, Carolina. Would be Orlov, but it's not current. Man, we're close. Carolina, Minnesota, Stahl, Chicago, Minnesota, Hallock, good pull, Franson, good pull, run fire, Simmons, not quite, uh, Chicago, Minnesota, it's somebody, there's somebody like kind of decent, it's in the back of my mind. Where's Hosa? No. Edmonton, Montreal, Scrivens. <laughs> ben Scrivens. Yeah. Uh, Minnesota, Tampa Bay. There's somebody also pretty good that I'm thinking that, that I can't think of. Colorado, New Jersey. There's a goalie. Maroon. Did I type in Maroon yet? Yeah. Man, we were close. Boston, Carolina. Huh. Chicago, Vancouver. Carolina, New Jersey. We said Yager. He didn't play in Carolina. Jordan Wheel! Oh. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great random... All right, well, we tried. We got down to nine guys. Okay. So, Aaron Dell. 22 guys played between New Jersey and San Jose in the last half decade or so. Aaron Ward, I wouldn't have pulled, but he's just first alphabetically. Alexei Ponikarovsky, I wouldn't have pulled. Adam Clendenning, I wouldn't have pulled. There's Aaron Ward again. AJ Greer, jeez. Alex Chase on. Who's Alex Chase on for? Dallas and Washington, I guess. Benoit Pouliot. Brad, Andrew Burnett. Huh. I guess that he would have been a pretty good guy. All right. Well, we. How much? How many people were we better than? We scored a 97. So our chat. Pretty good. We did pretty good. We beat the average score. It's pretty respectable. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> Mark Andre Bergeron has 41 points in 30 games. Mark Andre Bergeron is a uh, demon in NHL franchise mode. I think I can do. I don't know. We'll look up. What's the NHL have? Yeah, we NHL teams. Yeah, I got I got that one. Winners of the Hart Trophy, but not the Art Ross. We'll do that. It's quick. We'll knock it out real fast. There's some old dudes on here, but then I will. I will probably say goodnight. But all right, so let's let's get it ripping. Get out of here, Neiman Marcus. Okay, so Matthews, as was already said, Hoshik, as was already said, Lemieux always won the art. I will fail this one poorly, sure, yeah. Gretzky, because he stole one from Lemieux, uh, Lindros, and... Okay, 
Paul, of course. Okay, Carey Price. So I'm I'm gonna work my way back until I am back in the fifties. And is that Bun Cook? No. Uh, Theodore. Washington is Ovechkin. And Anaheim is Perry. And 2001, is that, that's gotta be Sackick or Forsberg. And St. Louis is Pronger. Okay. Bobby Orr. There he is, okay. Plant, Plant's a good. Okay, so we're back to 1994, that's gotta be Iserman. Or, oh no, it's Fedorov. He was so good, man. <laughs> and then it's Messier. Uh, yeah, Wade. Rest in peace, Wade Bielak. <laughs> Wade Bielak, not the, the best uh, at hockey. Poor guy. By all accounts, a good person. Where is Bobby? Bobby Hall and Brett Hall. Okay. Bobby Hall... <laughs> Not the best person. Uh, all right, no Tim Horton. Mike Dernan. Dernan. Okay. Is Gilbert? Is Rocket Richard? Boy, once we get back into the sixties, I'm really like, I'm struggling. Henri Richard. Yeah, no Richard. No no Richards to be to be seen. No, it's okay. He it it, it is it is sad. Poor poor Wade. He's he's in a better place, I would assume. But uh Who was... Oh, uh, Del Vecchio. Ah, man. Uh, Sawchuck. Uh, did Gordy Howe win any? Okay, all right. LaFleur. Okay. No. LaFleur's a little too old, I think, for Dumart. Uh, Sil Apps is a good guess. Hmm. Because this is before Espo. It's... It's the other legendary guy on the... Pelavo. Thank you. There we go. And Andy Bathgate. Okay, nice. There we go. Alright. Now I... Now that we're back firmly in the, in the 50s, I... Like I said, I guess Bun Cook for the Rangers. What were the What were so many Rangers doing? Those Rangers teams were horrible in the forties. The Rangers. I will use this final minute while I. Herbert O'Connor. Yeah. Keon Keon's a little too young. Warders. Yeah, this is really the trick. I'm putting in O'Connor. Yeah, buddy O'Connor. Herbert O'Connor, there he is. Red Kelly. Kelly, no. Warders. Yeah, Keon was a great player, though. We don't talk. Espo's a little... A little too young for, for this era as well. Worsley. Nothing. All right, well, we we put up a fight. We missed. Jeez. Jeez. <sighs> uh, a guy I've never heard of. A guy I've never heard of. A guy I've heard of once. A guy I've never heard of, and a guy I've heard of. Okay. Imlac. Yeah, punch Imlac. Punch Imlac would have been like the twenties, I think.
Not quite the 20s. A little overshooting that. He was a 40, so... He never played in the NHL? Huh. He was only a coach. Sports were sports were really good back when guys were named Punch. All right, well, that was that was very fun as it always is, y'all. You know, uh, but I have to I I'm gonna hit the hay here. So thank you guys so much for for coming and stopping by. It's always a lot of fun. So um, it's always cool that you guys come and hang out. I'm trying to do these every I don't know every couple weeks or so. We'll just. Just continue to continue to do this, work on the franchise a little bit, play some games. I like I like the idea of playing more of these. I'll find some more uh, good quizzes for this and all that. But yeah, thanks for coming to hang out, guys. It was a lot of fun. I'll uh, talk to you guys soon. Uh, Oilers four will be out. Uh, I don't know. Mm, let's say I don't know. Mm optimally this time this this time next week but uh we'll see all right well, thanks for the i i am i'm doing pretty well as of right now but yeah thank you guys for checking in thanks for your nice words as always love you guys i'm very thankful for for you guys coming and hanging out it means a lot to me and i hope that you guys had some fun all right i will like i said talk to you guys soon if you ever want to get in contact with me or anything, you can always DM me on Twitter or something or leave a comment. I Like I said, I read every, every comment. But yeah, peace out, guys. I'll talk to you soon.